All right, so I am here. Uh, I'm presuming it is open. It kind of looks like it. So I'm going to head in and explore, figure out where I'm actually am. Uh, it looks quite big, so yeah, it didn't take me too long. Nice walkway. Cameras are ready. Let's go explore. Yong Mew Shrine. Uh, it's not too far from the actual palace, and it's just giant park of beautiful buildings. Check that out. I got some more information. So this place is actually a supreme shrine where the spirit tablets of the former kings and queens were put. So basically there's like a road, path, road, whatever, in the middle, and it leads all the way up to the main shrine. Uh, and I'm presuming they're the old kings and queens uh, under the old tradition. The main um, the main shrine, if we call it a shrine, is closed, but we're gonna head to the second one. There's lots of these around. So, just having a nice wander before I meet my friends, so, yeah. It's big, this place as well. And then there's an even bigger place around the corner, which is a palace, which, uh, I'm definitely not gonna do today. But yeah, look, the... Look at these. And you're not supposed to stand on them. You're supposed to stand on the dirt. So you see that everyone's kind of like walking on the sides, not in the middle. So, yeah, it's very interesting. But yeah, nice for a morning walk. While Jonglo Shrine is not one of the five grand palaces of Seoul, it was still a very important site of the Joseon dynasty. It serves as a shrine for deceased members of royalty. Jongmo is located not far from Changdikung Palace. Like many of the palaces, Jongmo Shrine is situated in a park-like area with lots of trees. It's very easy to get to, it's very central in Seoul, and you can just get a subway to Yongno 3 Ga subway station. And there's plenty of areas all around to grab food, especially street food. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications of my next video. I upload each and every Wednesday of travel videos all around Korea. Have a wonderful day.